guys, welcome to Cornwall. We're not in Cornwall, are we? We're in Devon. We're in Devon. <laughs> welcome to Devon. We were meant to be in Cornwall, but we did have a little bit of a medical emergency last week. I'm sorry there was no video, but I ended up somehow scratching my eye. It was super painful. We ended our last video with me crying, think it's hay fever, but it wasn't. Turned out I had proper took a chunk out of my eyeball, made the nerve exposed. Yuck, but I'm all healed. You're gonna have to get used to seeing me in glasses. I can't put contacts in for a while, which is a bit of a shame. But we're in Devon, the sun's just come out. We've literally just drove through so much rain to get here. We spent a few nights at our friends. It was lovely to spend time with them. And now we're back at the beach, guys. We're so excited to take you along with us. We're ready for a pasty. Aren't we, babe? Let's do it. And not just any pasty. You wait and see what we're going to show you. Let's go. Probably wondering, guys, why we are not in Cornwall. We've decided to come up to sunny Devon. I've actually come up to the north coast. We've come up to Woolacombe. They'd normally have a really good surf and things like that. The Magic Seaweed app hasn't been working properly for me, so I've just been, like, winging it. I've come up here, and it is dead dead flat there's literally not a wave at all but luckily this time we have brought the paddle board so this afternoon i think we've all all three of us are going to get out and go for a good nice session on the paddle board it'll be lovely to get in the water this sun holds out it'll just be incredible the last week we have been well sam's been recovering so sam's been in the dark with her sunglasses on it has given me a chance to fix a few bits on the van i just give it a bit of a service i change the oil um, change all the oil filters. I changed the fuel filter on an LT35. That is the worst job ever. So yeah, if you have an LT35, you'll know how much of a pain that is. Um, I also sorted a couple of oil leaks. We had a couple of oil leaks on the van. And yeah, she is running like a dream at the moment. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go, let's enjoy these pasties. It has been a long while since we've been up here enjoying these. Best pasty in Devon, I would say. How is it? Oh, God. <laughs> so, to get these pasties, guys, you need to go to the Snack Shack, which is just by the main car park in Woolacombe. And they are curried cauliflower and chickpea pasty. Now, I kid you not, they're the best pasty we've ever had. And if I'm being honest, it's probably the only reason why we've come up to Wollacombe today because we've been dreaming of these pasties for a very long time. Is that edible, that then? Yeah. Well, that's new. It's got a new little sticker on the Fat Pasty Company. Yeah. That's right, guys. Also, vegan or not, you need to try this pasty. Five bites later and it's gone. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> so good. We actually drove two hours. To get a pasty. To get this pasty. <laughs> and enjoy this incredible beach. Come on. This beach is lush, it's huge. And we get an amazing sunset from here. Since we last came down to Woolacombe, they've like built a few new things. Like we just walked through a gorgeous wildflower area and it smelt amazing. It's so good to see. Now we need to walk off this pasty guys. And we're gonna get Fletcher down to the water because he needs to cool off. Is that a nice Fletch? Oh, that's beautiful. So clear. Yeah, boy, they're nice. <laughs> wow, it is hot in here. We gotta get these fans on, team. It really is, even though the sun's gone in. It says it's currently 27 degrees in here. And it is melting. But we're gonna have a quick drink, chill out, let Fletcher have a quick snooze, and then we're all going for a swim. Sound good? Sounds 
perfect to me. <sighs> Let's get all the coolers, fans, everything on in here. It's a pain. I forgot how hard it was to blow up. <laughs> we on? Where's Fletcher? Come on, buddy. Oh, I wonder what the hell that was then. Come on, Steve. There we go. Ah, I think we just got to be careful with rocks in this area, point. We're out on a paddleboard team. This feels great. About five o'clock. Half five. Half past five on a Wednesday evening, and we're just with the sea. No more paddleboarders out here. No. Look at that view, looking back. Gorgeous. It's still the English sea, guys. It is freezing. I'm just trying to do a bit of a Wim Hof, you know. Deep breaths. Fletch is really not happy that Chris is in the water. He's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? You're all okay. See? You're all fine. Mummy can steer the ship. <laughs> Absolutely fine. So now I've got the bag of treats out. He's silent. He's more focused on where's the treats, when is his next one, and he's quiet. So it's been a long time since we've been on the paddleboard, to be honest. I knew he would freak out like this, but I think as long as you have a positive thing for them to look forward to, like the treats, they're fine. So if you haven't taken your dog on a paddleboard yet, just take plenty of treats. They might gain an awful lot of weight that day, but they're gonna find it a bit more enjoyable with no treats, without any treats. So, look at that. Don't even care about you now, babe. Everything's okay. Wait, wait, good boy. Wait, please. It's cold when you're down. Oh my God, guys. Why is it so cold when you go under with your head? Oh, it's not like the Maldives. It definitely isn't like the Maldives. But, can't complain with the weather. Beaches we have full access to. It is gorgeous. But it's just not a Ow! <laughs> That's the same, watch out. <laughs> I'm in the water. And it's actually so refreshing. Good boy. Chris said it's really cool, but. You haven't been in as long as I have. This is great. I've paddled you all the way here. You, maybe you can paddle me back. Fletchers. Don't oh. care, we're both in the water. Sit down then. Sit down. And he doesn't really care Sit right down. now. Sit. Good boy. Good boy, Flair. Good boy, wait. Oh, so nice. It's lush. But I'm gonna get back to the boat. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite deep here. And I probably shouldn't have, but I've spent the last few weeks oh, just seeing, watching TikToks of sharks. So, this just do just fine. Heading on back, I'm gonna have guns of steel by the time we get back. Can you hear that, team? Silence. From Fletcher. <laughs> he knows we're going home. He's happy now. Wow, that swim and paddle was so refreshing. We loved it. We're all feeling a little bit chin strapped. I've just whipped us up some salads with our favourite like melty cheese. It's a bit like a goat's cheese but vegan. 
a big old salad to fuel us up and watch the sunset. Good morning guys, look at this to wake up to, but it didn't work out, we got our first parking ticket for staying overnight where we're not meant to. In the whole 18 months we've been living on the road and travelling, I can't believe we've had our first one. But it's just another example, this park up that we stayed at last night, last year it was no problem, we were here, there was no sign saying you couldn't park, it's been an amazing park up for years that I know so many people have enjoyed and this is just a prime example of, especially down here in Devon and Cornwall, they're just slowly and surely taking them all away from us which is such a shame you know just charge us some money it is a real shame we didn't realize that they have changed the rules here hence why we have a parking ticket and so many other vans had it too so yeah we won't be staying here again unfortunately that was our last night here but do you know what it's such a beautiful beautiful park up there i would say it's been worth the money so let's see what we get up to today but it could involve getting back in that gorgeous water i think so anyway i need a coffee let's take this one outside and enjoy the sunshine Time for a quick dip now. It has been a lovely warm morning, sat by the van. We've had our pasties. We've just uh, finished a couple of calls, but now time for a swim. Good boy. Oh, this is lush team. It's really not that cold at all. Beautiful, lovely and clear, barely any waves. Yeah. Fletch, you gonna swim to me? Should be doing a L'Oreal Albert to me. Yeah. Catch! That was so needed. Oh, feeling great after that swim. Now it's time for Chris to give me an outdoor shower. We've got some like natural shampoo and conditioner bars that we like to use when we're showering outdoors. And I need to wash my hair. So let's go. Apparently the water's warm. Well, it's warmer than the sea. Warmer than the sea. Okay. Are you gonna shower me? Yep. Oh my god, it's cold. It's not that cold. Oh. You're helping. Oh, I'm actually going to make sure your hair's wet. That's how it should wash it. Thanks. Oh. It's a little bit. <laughs> Put it on in your face. <laughs> that would do. Okay, that would do. I was going to say, we can't use too much water. That was perfect. I'm so pleased we put in the outdoor shower. It was a great, great buy, wasn't it? Especially for days like today. Yeah, like just to get all the salt and the sand off you after a day at the beach, it's just lovely. So, so nice. Thanks. Highly much. recommend it when you're putting your van build together if you're not there yet. The only downside is we can't go back in the sea today. Well, you can. Because that was just have another so one. nice, wasn't it? Don't you tell. Please. Don't you do my face. Oh. just crapping himself that he's having a shower too. I know, from Europe when he was getting really hot, we used to have to shower him outdoors all the time just to keep him cool if we weren't by a lake or anything. So he's like, hates coming around the back of the van now. Very rarely does he actually come around here. You just oh. living your best life, Fletch. That was bloody lush. Right, time to dry off. See you guys in a minute. Guys. 
what an afternoon. Sorry I didn't pick you all back up, but we actually went out for a nice meal and we took Olive down the narrowest, narrowest lane to get to a park up, which we thought, yeah, that'd be brilliant. Got down to that park up and it was just no good at all. There was a little beach there, but it wasn't our sort of vibe. I don't think you've emphasized enough just how narrow those lanes were. The camera was actually on in the back being charged, so we couldn't show you, but honestly... It was ridiculous. The hedges were like overgrown, so it was scraping the new paintwork all the way down, and then there was one corner where, let's be honest, we only just got rounded. Didn't oh, we? it was it was horrendous. We were sweating. Yeah, it we wasn't good. We were breathing in the whole time, so when we came across that little beer garden at the end of it, we were just like, bugger it we're going for a meal <laughs> we deserve and it and enjoyed the sunshine it was really lovely wasn't it? it was it was gorgeous it was a lovely way to end a beautiful day down at Woolock and Wet. yeah we thoroughly enjoyed our time in Devon apart from this bad boy you're right yeah. there Fletch <laughs> Such a shame that we got this one um, but let's hope that we go another 18 months without another one yeah and at least we have got it and we're gonna pay it off early so it's only half price yeah we better get this pay guys but thank you so so much for joining us in this week's video of our time here in north devon we hope you've enjoyed it what should our little oh yes the cool little emoji, emoji. what do we do uh oh my god is there a past the emoji i don't know there's, there's not, not a pasty one go so for the sunshine emoji because we're having such amazing weather here in the uk it is yeah it's been lush isn't it and it's been really really warm yeah. you can probably tell we're a bit sunburnt from today aren't we a little bit yeah so if you've made it this far in the video guys drop the sunshine emoji just so we can see who's made it this far thank you so much for watching we appreciate you all as always and we'll see you next time see ya